So what are the different types of problems you can be asked in combination, surface area of combination of figures? These are the broad three types in my opinion. The first one is straightforward. You have uh, some cylinder, some cone, both are next to each other. They have the same radius. Find the curve surface area, find the curve surface area over here, add them. If you're asked to include the bottom, add another circle. If not, don't include it. Similar story here. Everything has the same radius, radi, all of them have the same radi. Uh, and uh, you uh, find the curve surface area, curve surface area, cylinder, add them. This is the most straightforward. There's a small twist you can add to it in type two. Type two is where, see if you notice over here, this question, this is like some, something like a tent, right? And this one, like an arrow, what's the difference between the two? If you had to find the total surface area, in other words, if you had to paint this on the outside and if you had to paint this, what should you be careful about? That's right, you should be careful about this region over here. Let's actually draw that out. So if you look at it from the bottom, if you're looking at it like a little ant who's under this and is like looking at the whole thing, uh, and then what would you see? You would see two circles, right? A smaller circle for this one, and then a bigger circle for this one. Now, notice that these two don't have the same radii, because if you had drawn the same thing over here, you would have seen one circle for this one, but another circle of the same radius for the top one. So you, you might see something like this. But over here, you're seeing two different ones. And which of these two areas do you need to care about? Is it the smaller circle? Well, if, you, if you're counting the bottom, then yes. But then even after doing that, if you just care about this region, you have to add that region as well. And that's going to be this area out here. Now, again, nothing new has to be learned to do this. You just have to... Uh, find the area of this circle, bigger circle, and then subtract the smaller circle from it. So bigger circle minus smaller circle, that's a small difference over here, similar story over here. So the second type is where the radii don't match, or the sizes don't match, and there are these gaps over here. So how would the top view, or the bird's eye view of this thing look? This looks something like a building with, with, a, with a little dome on top of it. So if you had a bird flying above, little bird flying above, uh, what would you see? You would see this square for square or rectangle, whatever that is for a box. And you would see a circle, right? This dome seen from the top is actually a circle of this radius. So you would see this. And if you do decide to paint this place, you care about the curve surface area of this. You care about all these rectangles. A cuboid is just a bunch of rectangles. You care about all of them. But you also care about this gap region. And how do you find that gap region? Once again, you care about this region on the outside. So you would find the area of this box and then subtract this circle. And that would give you the area that you need. A lot of the skill in this chapter is just being able to visualize these 3D shapes and make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, another twist, type number three, I call it, is where you are given some kind of like say a pen old holder over here, right? Where there's this cone thing that has been removed. And here your skill is to be able to identify what's not there, seeing what's not there. Looking at this figure and going, okay, if I had a cuboid and if I had removed a cone from it, then uh, I can find the surface area of this. If I imagine this to be a cuboid with a cone removed, that'll give me the surface area. And the intuition or the, or the immediate thought is that, oh, okay, here I should add the surface area of this um, a, a hemisphere or cone, but here I should subtract. Let's pause for a moment and think if that is true. Because that's a common thing that, that I see, at least when I've done earlier. So that's true for volume. If you're caring about the amount of substance in here, then you care about how much you remove. If you remove this cone, you've removed some volume. But if it's surface area, if you're thinking about painting it, does it matter whether you're painting a cone that's standing or painting a cone that's like inside the figure? You have to paint it anyway, right? So actually, these two cases, right, where in one case the radius is similar, but it's removed. That's, this is more similar to something like, like this case. And over here, where the radii are different, this is actually smaller than this cuboid, but it's again removed, is not that different. The main difference is that you have to treat it similar to this problem. And let, let, let me tell you what I mean by that. If I have, so how will this, the top view of this look, or the bird's eye view? You'd have a box, 
and you would have this cone as just as a circle, right? And just like over here, that's why I said it's similar to this case, you care about this area. You care about all the other areas, just like over here, say if this had been a cone. And finally, you will still add the curve surface area of the cone, not subtract it, because you'll have to go inside and paint it. Like you would see some point over here that represents uh, you know, the end of that cone, the tip of that cone, just like you would do over here if, you had, if the cone had been above. So the cone being above and the cone being below does not make a difference to your answer. That's actually a little counterintuitive, at least to me. So you can draw the top view of this if you want to. So the main purpose here, and I call this the problem space of this chapter, these are the only types of problems you have to care about. The, f the moment you see it, you can say, okay, is this the same radii kind of question? Okay, or it's a different one, or maybe it's going inside. But then you know what to do in each of these cases.